I was born in Yuma, Arizona, in a ranch owned by my family. Like many other families, we moved to California, and at the age of 11, I started working in the fields. And that's where I witnessed for the first time the injustice and the indignities suffered by the farm workers. And I realized that to make a difference, we had to get out and start organizing the workers. Chulpe, ¿cómo se llama usted? Chester Chavez. I do feel like I have a responsibility because it's a, you know, it's an iconic character in, in our culture. Okay. I decided, no, I'm not gonna tell the story of Cesar Chavez. I'm gonna tell the story of the great boycott. By telling that, I'll tell you who Cesar Chavez probably was. I kind of felt connected, even though I didn't really know the story that much, because my parents were farmers, or farm workers. That's all for today. I hear they're looking for bodies in the onion fields. This is a different kind of leader, and what he was great at is her organizing. He basically empowered and um, enabled an entire subsection of farm workers. You know, they got contracts for their unions, they got uh, better pay, they were uh, just basic human rights. We move forward together or not at all? <laughs> The film that we're making is about what the sacrifices and uh, challenges were on a personal level, which involves, you know, his family and the group of people who surrounded him. What if something happened to us? What would happen to the kids? He wouldn't be Cesar Chavez if he wasn't around all these people. It wasn't just him sacrificing everything, you know, it was everyone around him. That's the only way they could have achieved what they achieved. They were changing things. They were. They did something that had never been done before. You know, they didn't know what their successes were going to be ahead of time. It's important, especially since it's the largest nonviolent movement in the history of America. These are not people who are out for glory. These were people who are really on a mission to help the other people around them. They realized their struggle was the struggle of many. I come here out of respect for one of the heroic figures of our time. You have Kennedy in there and Martin Luther King and all these different moments, but you rest on them and you experience them through the farm workers. You experience them through the family. It's very human. I don't say it was going to be easy, but if you take care of your side, I take care of mine, we'll be there fine. There's things we can't control. There's things that we have to control. I didn't want it to romanticize anything. I never wanted you to step back. I always wanted you to be with them, you know, in the experience. So that way also you would feel the struggle, you would feel how painful the whole process was for all of these people. We're not going anywhere. We have a right to be here. Caesar, they will shoot. Stop! Stop! I'm angry too. I'm angry that I live in a world where a man who picks your food can't feed his family. You could feel that everyone knew the necessity of this film to be made. How important to do a film that actually represents us, that is not the cliche. We should know our own history. And uh, this is, I think, the first step for that. It's gonna engage people in a way they're not expecting. Who started the fight? Get the hell out of our country! We want you back to Mexico! We didn't have a choice. You always have a choice. With this story, for me, it's very important that we reach not just the audience, obviously, that shares the context of the character, but I want this film to reach anyone, anywhere, you know? It seems like it's a relevant story to be talking about right now. You know, people are still fighting these same fights. I see people watching this and, and remembering what it is to really be an American. You start to see your own family in these people, your own community, you know, and this plight. It's good for people to remember. I think that people have struggled before to earn a living wage. And had lives considerably tougher than ours. Once a uh, social change begins, uh, it can't be reversed. We've seen the future and the future is ours. Chavez showed something very simple, very simple, but very difficult to actually believe in, which is even though you think that person doesn't care about you, he does, he does. <laughs>